Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and in today's video we are going to talk about tumors of the heart. All kinds of tumors of the heart are extremely rare. As with other tumors, also we can divide tumors affecting the heart into primary tumors and secondary tumors and also into benign and malignant. Now I want to talk about primary tumors of the heart. Primary means that the tumor is arising in the heart, while secondary would mean that it is a dissemination or metastasis from a tumor which has its origin somewhere else, as for example in the lungs, intestines or bones. The reason why primary tumors of the heart are extremely rare is that the cardiac cells are post-mitotic cells. Post-mitotic means that it is not able to divide again so it has found its final stage of development already with completion of the fetal development. We find post-mitotic cells in the heart, brain and skeletal muscle and when those cells are damaged they cannot grow or differentiate any further. Primary tumors that are found in the heart are usually benign. 77% of the primary tumors are myxomas and the other 23 are rhabdomyomas, fibromas and hamartomas. Even though it is rare, it is possible to also find malignant tumors of the heart. Those are angiosarcomas, rhabdomyosarcomas and primary cardiac lymphomas. Heart tumors are found in approximately 0.056% of autopsies. Now I want to talk about a different kind of tumors that I have already mentioned. The first one is the myxoma, which is the most frequently found kind of tumor in the heart. It can be found in any of the heart chambers, but in 90% of cases it is found in the atria. Very rarely it affects the valves, so it usually arises from the walls of the chambers. It is usually solitary, meaning that we only find one bulge of tissue, which is usually round or at least somewhat rounded and has a diameter of 1 to 10 centimeters. Grossly, it appears soft to touch, it has a semi-transparent color and presents with hemorrhages on the surface. It may produce emboli if the entire tumor or cell clumps of it get separated from the main mass or the chamber wall and follow the bloodstream. Patients may experience fever due to an increase in interleukin-6 synthesis. It is usually found by accident during a sonography examination of the patient's heart. The symptoms can vary depending on the location of the tumor. This applies not only for myxomas but for all kinds of tumors. These symptoms can be fever, weight loss, fatigue, myalgia, night sweat, cough and leukocytosis. In the case of malignant tumors, patients also often experience a bloody pericardial effusion. Also arrhythmia and outflow disturbances are frequently seen. If you want to know more about arrhythmia, you can click on the banner above. The next tumor is the fibroelastoma. Also the fibroelastoma is sometimes found in autopsies. It may form an embolus which can occlude blood vessels. Often it is smaller than a myxoma with a general size of up to one centimeter and it's usually found in the ventricular side of the semilunar or atrial side of the atrioventricular valves. A fibroelastoma is made up of connective tissue cells. The third tumor I want to talk about is the rhabdomyoma. It is a benign tumor which is comprised of striated muscle cells. It is not only found in the heart but it can be found here. It is the most commonly found primary tumor of the heart in children. If the heart tumor is a metastasis from a primary origin somewhere else in the body, 
It usually shows the same tissue characteristics as the primary tumor. Primary tumors in the lung and breast, as well as lymphomas and leukemias, sometimes spread to the heart. This can be hematogenous, lymphogenic or also by infiltrative spread, as the heart is surrounded by lymph node as well as it is responsible for the blood and lymphatic system drainage and supply. Diagnosis of the cardiac tumors is done by the anamnesis, echocardiography, sonography, CT and MRI. Also, it is important to search for a possible primary tumor at a different location in the body. The therapy consists of a combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy and sometimes the primary tumor can also be removed surgically. A surgical removal is advised when the tumor blocks the sufficient outflow of blood and has a size and location relatively easy accessible. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, we would be very grateful if you could subscribe. Thank you very much.